Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this episode is going to be a real treat for you guys because as you see behind me here, the countertops are in, installed, and they just came out amazing. But you really can't appreciate the countertops until you see the whole process of what it takes to go from a solid slab of stone into the nice countertops you see here. And luckily for us, the guys down at Highland Cabinets were nice enough to invite me down to their brand new state-of-the-art fabrication shop so I could watch my slab of stone be created and fabricated into this nice custom countertop you see here. It's just a really awesome process. And the uh, fabricator down there, he's really knowledgeable and just a really nice guy to, to be around. And uh, really everyone down there is really super nice to work with. And I just feel real happy that I get to go down there, see this stone be turned into a countertop and share the whole process with you guys because I think you guys are gonna really like it. So anyways, let's go down there and check out the process. So you see here on the cutting screen, you see these little red marks there. That's actually the path of the cutting saw and they don't connect in every spot. And that's because the computer knows that if it connects to those cuts, you might actually cut into the backsplash or into the main uh, countertop piece. And you definitely don't want that. So you will have to come back with a little uh, hand work with the uh, small grinder and just kind of cut the corners out and uh, cut that radius out. And I'll go ahead and show you that process right now.
All right, so kind of next step here that uh, for what I understand is once the, the stone, we saw he took that off the, uh, the cutting machine, it came here to the computer and he does loads up a different program here. You can kind of see here, this is like the uh, tool cutting paths and this will polish the edges. I uh, did like another tool for it to do that radius, the corner there. And his little red things are little uh, it's like suction pods uh, that go on the uh, table out there. And then the counter, the uh, stone will get put on top of that. And that kind of holds it down with suction. But these little pods out there, he'll send this design here over to the main cutting computer. And then the laser from up above will point out exactly where each one of these little pods needs to go. And then once you put those in the right spot, come back with the countertop, the stone, and the laser will show exactly where to put that. And then the tool, I guess, can start cutting. So let's go out there and uh, see him putting these pods down. Right, so out here in the main shop, uh, that program is sent out here. And this just kind of like shows where these uh, little pods need to go. And from there, um, goes to the laser on top and then projects the laser down onto the uh, cutting table so you can put these pods out exactly where they need to go. Oops. Up there to the laser and that's projected down there to the cutting table. See he's getting these little pods hooked up in the exact spot they need to go. All these little hoses are just these uh, suction hoses to keep the stone um, suction down to the uh, working table. And here's the finished product. Countertops are cut out, the hole for the sink is cut out, and polished on the inside, the edges are polished, and this countertop is finished and ready for install. Yeah, this is the next tool in the finishing process. You take your backsplash pieces that were cut out, put them in on the right side of the machine there, and that belt feeds them through the machine over a bunch of little polishing wheels and it polishes the backsplash edge to a nice mirror finish.
And the left side there is the polished piece and the right side is a piece that just came off the cutting machine. So here's a look at their really cool water recycling process. In the machine there, there's drains there and also water from the front will drain into these floor drains here. And it follows these little channels into the back there, into that little uh, settling pit in the back there. And the bottom of that pit, there's a uh, pump there that pumps it up that white pipe there. And from up that pipe, it goes into that metal tank there, which has a bunch of fins in it to mix the water and they also add in a additive there that makes all the cuttings stick together. Those fall to the bottom and then it automatically will dump into that bag there. And then the clean water goes to the top over to the tank on the right and dumps in there. And that white tank is actually all the clean water. And from there, uh, goes into that red pump which pressurizes the water and sends it right back to the machines. But before it goes to the machines, it goes through a couple of filters there's that black uh, filter there that goes to the main cutting machine. And once the water comes out of there into the machine, it's probably about clean enough to drink. And they did such a great job with their layout. This is actually the only waste that's left over from that whole slab. So I asked if this was their in-stock stone, but they said no, everything with the red tag is actually for another customer. And things are just kind of waiting here in line for the, their turn to be cut out. But our stone is finished now, so let's head back to the house and watch this stone uh, countertop get installed. All right, guys, check out this finished product here. Uh, there's a little seam in, in the end there where the stone wasn't long enough, but uh, we cut that little piece with the end there. And the installer, he just made that seam disappear. So this is just a flawless countertop right now. I'm really happy that they uh, cut it, cut the stone out so there's no seam in the corner there because it just makes it look so much nicer. They installed the uh, uh, undermount sink there drilled out the hole for the faucet. Get over here and put this other little piece here uh, on the other side of the oven. And since this is just a, a solid chunk of stone here, uh, this is where the dishwasher is gonna go. They put the little hardware underneath there so we can screw our dishwasher into the top there or we can go into the sides, but these cabinets are a little bit thin for that. So I'm real happy they put that uh, hardware up there Yes, yeah, this, this is just looking great. And we'll go into the bathroom and I'll show you the vanity there that they did as well. And the vanity here, it's a little bit smaller, but uh, it looks amazing, just like the other countertops out there. Uh, they provided the, the sink as well, installed that, 
Cut the holes out for the faucet there. Of course, they didn't install it yet. It's just there for looks. And put the back flash in there. I'll do a little touch of painting around the edges there. And this one just came out perfect. And I'm very happy with how everything came out. I'm real excited. All right, that was the process of taking a solid slab of stone all the way through till now when it's an installed finished product that's gonna last a lifetime. I really learned a lot. Uh, it's a great process to see. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And just a big shout out and thank you to Highland Cabinets for letting me come down there, uh, see your shop, give me the tour down there, and just share, share this uh, whole process with my viewers here. It was just a really nice place to go to. Uh, those guys down there are just really knowledgeable and it's just a really nice team to work with. Everyone's so friendly down there and they, they really know what they're doing down there. So it's, it's great to see that whole process. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video and I will see you back here for the next one.